Within Learning Locker, we talk about three levels of learning analytics that you can perform. The first level is internal to Learning Locker using our own dashboarding techniques. The second is to export data via CSV, and the third is to connect to business intelligence tools. I'll just briefly talk through each one. So at level one of learning analytics, you can do quite in-depth and detailed dashboards within Learning Locker. Here, you're gonna visit the Visualize tab and look to create some of the visualizations that we offer. We've got bar graphs, column graphs, all of them with an explanation of where they're most suitably used. And you can bring all of these graphs together, as well as numbers, pie charts, and journeys, if you're using our enterprise version, to tell a story on a dashboard. So typically, I might put a few big numbers, uh, a few uh, frequency graphs, uh, and a few end result graphs, something that might come out in a distribution or maybe in a leaderboard, to tell the story of what this dashboard shows. But if I want to get a little bit deeper behind those numbers, you might need to go beyond what Learning Locker can do. So Learning Locker dashboards, brilliant in real time, embeddable elsewhere, but they don't always enable you to get deep into the data and to put more than two variables together. So for that, I would use the export facility from Learning Locker, typically taking it to CSV to work in Excel. So here, I'm gonna visit my sources tab, and up in the top right-hand corner, I'm going to click the download button, and that will give me the ability to export to CSV. You can create templates here, which will give you your own templated CSV files with the right columns and activities assigned to those, and you can download them. If they're big, they might queue and take a moment or two, but most of your files won't take too long. From here, you're ready to open things in Excel or your favorite spreadsheet tool and get to work building graphs and getting deeper into the data. Finally, if you're not really up for downloading to CSV, if you prefer to stream things more in real time, or if you want to get to a much more complex business intelligence tool, a Power BI, a Tableau, or something like that, then you're going to want to use MongoDB's connectors. This will enable you to create a connection directly from Learning Locker into one of these BI tools. You might need a license. Our enterprise version of Learning Locker comes with this ready for you to operate, but if you're working on an open source version, you may need to talk to MongoDB about getting the BI connector. What it's gonna do is basically take our NoSQL, our schemaless document store, that's what you see in the source there, and transform it into something that's more like a relational database. That's how tools like Power BI and Tableau work. They need a structure. So the BI connector is the structure. Of course, you can take a CSV from our second option and put it into those tools. It just won't be in real time. So three ways of increasing complexity and depth that you can go to with the data in your learning locker. Level one, use our inbuilt dashboards. This will give you a great insight straight away into what's going on with your data. Level two, a CSV export. Take it to Excel. Level three, connect it to a business intelligence tool like Tableau or Power BI using the MongoBI connector.